Uh, I have now spent uh, a few hours uh, editing the video about Aquila uh, Sava's client business. And I felt right away that uh, there are a couple of things I need to elaborate on and add to what I said in that video. Uh, for those who haven't seen that other video, go and see that first. I am uploading both videos at the same time. Um, I um, likened uh, people uh, uh, having uh, problems, pains and uh, entities latching onto them and uh, and uh, preventing them from uh, using all their capabilities um, mentally and spiritually draining their life energy I liken those problems to um, I used the term um, nutritional supplements I believe I did which isn't perhaps the best analog um, because even though I argued that uh, um, all of these problems carry with them also a very important often huge potential for spiritual growth and as such could be considered uh, nourishment for spiritual development and healing obviously there are the downsides downsides which are also pretty big and frankly in some cases they could be life-threatening so uh, uh, I, I'm not uh, saying that uh, that uh, it's uh, by any account uh, uh, a wrong thing to ask to have this removed if you find someone on the internet who has that capability who can do that as easily as uh, Aquila Sava appears to be able to do it. Uh, my uh, issue is only that people need to be informed of the two-sided aspect of uh, the matter of these entities. That there is a positive side and uh, they should know that um, there's a trade-off uh, when um, employing Aquila Sava's services and I've discussed that uh, uh, sufficiently in that other video as long as people are um, adequately informed the decision is theirs and um, I wouldn't want to criticize anyone for choosing one or uh, above the other. As long as they are informed. That was the one issue and the other which I didn't discuss in the video is a problem for Aquila Sava in her spiritual development a future problem and it's not a potential one either it's going to be manifest and strongly felt up ahead
and um, well, as long as she knows about it, she can choose whichever path she wishes to go. But I would just like to give her a heads up if she should need it. I haven't seen her discussing it, so I'm um, thinking maybe she does need this heads up, and um, if she doesn't, well, no harm in that. Um, she is helping a lot of people, and they are uh, becoming very grateful to her, very grateful. And that's a problem, because that um, creates some um, um, karmic threads. I, I'm not sure if that's a term that would sufficiently or, or correctly um, um, describe uh, what's at hand um, but as uh, she now gains a lot from her adventures with the, with, with the entities uh, she also accrues um, a whole lot of attachments to people whom she helps which she cannot simply shrug off uh, along the way it has to be released and it doesn't uh, simply <laughs> It doesn't simply um, uh, release itself uh, once she has helped them and uh, has received her payment. If she if she uh, uh, takes any payment for uh, her services, uh, she has made a huge impression on these people on their soul and she will linger heavily in their awareness going forward going forward in all the different directions which all of these people surely will go so when Aquila Sava uh, Later on, after she uh, she is done with uh, helping others, the current uh, client affairs activity, and wants to go out in the different realms and uh, use all the knowledge and experiences and uh, um, capabilities which she has uh, uh, garnered she will find herself being pulled back or in this direction or in that direction by all the people she has helped in various degree obviously but it will be felt and I cannot think other than that it will be felt um, as a limiting, as a hampering presence when she wants to go and wants to be free or she wants to Uh, join up with some other 
group or people she meets and she finds that well she is not so free before she can do this or do that she has to uh, see to it that all those uh, threads to her former clients are released and they have to be released by the client so um, and, and it cannot be done through a you know a formal contract or you know a promise uh, that has been asked for or it has to be deeply felt it has to be um, the release has to be on on the spiritual level on the soul level so um, uh, that was my um, hopefully good advice um, heads up to Aquila Sava and um, may you be successful in your further endeavors and uh, move wisely through the terrain you are currently inhabiting. Bye-bye.